succeed in anything, in any activity. You can never understand in class. You can never without him. Hallelujah. Proverbs 4 from verse 1. I read. Today I am speaking once again about critical thinking. Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. Are we all there? Yes. Pay attention. That's the key word. And gain understanding. I give you sound learning, so do not forsake my teaching. For I too was a son to my father, still tender and cherished by my mother. Then he taught me and he said to me, take hold of my words with all your heart. Keep my commands and you will live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Wisdom will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Cherish her and she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will give you a garland to grace your head and, pres and present you with a glorious crown. Listen, my son, accept what I say and the ears of your life will be many. I instruct you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. That is all. Up to verse 13. Hold on to instruction. I am about to give you instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well. For it is your life. I wish you can listen to my instruction this morning. You guard it well. I give you the wisdom that God has given to me. Because one day I was a small girl like you. I grew being instructed by my mother, being instructed by my teachers. I obey. The reason as to why I have lived this long is because one day I was a girl like you and I chose to obey. Hallelujah. I chose to obey. Are you hearing me? Diverting your attention from whatever I am teaching you. It is still a battle because the devil doesn't want you to concentrate. Why? Because he doesn't want you to have information. Why? Because he doesn't want you to make a decision. There is no decision when the head is empty. There is no decision to be made when the head is empty. 
critical thinking is being more than curious about the world around you today. Critical thinking is being more than curious. You must be curious about things. About things. You become curious about your performance. You become curious about your life. And when you become curious, every end of the day, you will evaluate the information you have acquired that particular day. And if you become this kind of a person that every day you must analyze, you must evaluate the level of information you have received, can I tell you, you will keep on improving in your academics and your destiny will not be lost at all. Are we together? Aha. Uh -huh. Critical thinkers make connections between logical ideas to see the bigger picture. What is the bigger picture? The bigger picture is your destiny. Today, you are wearing a, a green skirt, a white blouse, a red tie, a red sweater, a red jumper. That is the uniform for Steve Joy. But can I tell you, who are seated there, your mind should not be here. Your mind should be connected to your destiny. You get your destiny and immediately you are here again trying to fight your wars so that at least you may engage yourself or have full information so that you may get to where your mind can see. Williams Wadsworth has said, if you can see it, you can become it. If you can see it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. When I learned that, anything that is seen by my mind, I pursue it in full force and I refuse anybody to rob me of that which my mind can see. Can you hear me well? The reason you see your future is because God has shown you so that you may see its beauty. You refuse to sell your future for soup like Esau with boyfriends. I want to say it again. I can never succeed for you. Your parents can never succeed for you. I can never fail for you. When you fail, it's your failure. Personal failure. When you succeed, is yours. Personal success. But can I tell you, it stems from your behavior. And I want to tell you, dear students, other people are thinking negative about you. Your failure is somebody's opportunity. Can you hear me? Your failure, dear students, your disobedience, your rebellion is somebody's opportunity. Would you like to give somebody an opportunity to take advantage of your life? And I want to say it again. If you didn't know, your failure is a joy to someone. Failure is a vocabulary that cannot be understood in the kingdom of God. Meaning, when you have failed, you have failed your parents, you have failed your teachers, you have failed God. Because according to God, there's no failure, there's no average. You identify your destiny and you understand the tools to take you to your destiny. What are the tools, the subjects to take you, the information required, the information relevant to take you to your destiny?